four to six days later. How's it going? We finally made it to week two. Five days of, as many people in this household would say, living hell. With the volume of the tumbler, which is not terribly bad when you put it someplace where it's quiet, but not everybody seems to agree to this. But that's okay. Alright, so we are week two. We're about to unveil our first batch of rocks. Now we have to be super duper careful. We don't want to get any of the slurry that's inside the tumbler down into the uh, drainage system or the garbage disposal there because it will ruin it absolutely. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the tumbler and we're going to start uh, getting the rocks uh, rinsed out and cleaned. Now I've got a bucket here to catch the slurry and we'll be using the sieve that was provided by the manufacturer. We're going to see what our rocks look like after the first week. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an initial straining here. Then we're going to dunk each stone in this uh, cup here. Then we're going to set them out on this uh, little bit of paper towel to dry a little bit. We need to make sure that all the grit is off this. And then we have our, our uh, second week of grit, the grit two medium grit. And uh, we'll put this in and then we run this on medium speed for seven days. So, okay, here comes the big reveal. All right, well, there's nothing leaked on the first deal, so that's good. Open this up. Ooh, that was a little tough to open. You can see on the, on the inside of the lid, a little bit of stuff. We'll clean that off in a minute. Inside, we have some very grimy looking water. We want to make sure we don't get any of that in the sink. So we're going to pour this through the... No, we don't, we don't need to save any of that. Pour this out. So we've got a few rocks here in the sieve. We're going to dunk them here in this cup. Ooh, they're already feeling very, the corners are all really, really worn off. We'll give you a close look at them here in just a minute once they're all cleaned up. And we may run this through a few times. I'm just using this cup so I don't have to uh, run water because we can't afford to be running and filling this bucket up because I have to go dispose of this outside in the yard. Yeah, that's amazing how much has already been worn off of these. Alright, that's all the rocks. Oops, there's one stuck here in the bottom. So we'll just, we're going to need to make sure we rinse the tumbler out really well because uh, we want to get all this level of grit out and all the slurry out. It's got a smell to it. I won't be. I'm not, not going to lie to you. There's a little odor here. All right. So we got all of our rocks doing an initial rinse. Now we're going to rinse this tumbler and get it get it really um, cleaned out so we're ready for the next cycle. Uh -oh. Some small rock pieces showing up. So we have to be really careful about getting all of the rock pieces out because when, when we reseal the tumbler, any stuff that's left here in the area that's going to be re, uh, resealed won't seal properly. Okay, I think we got a clean tumbler now. We'll set this aside. And we're going to run the uh, rocks through a couple of uh, cycles of straining and rinsing. So, let's see if you do that here. Good evening.
Look at that. They looked clean. I just put clean water in there. Look at that. Not clean. You're going to have to rinse it a few times. Okay, it's getting there. Okay, if this comes up clean, we're gonna go ahead and set these out to dry. Looks good. Okay, last uh, rinse, and we will set these out and we'll take a look at them. All right, so let's take a quick look at what we have according to the National Geographic Rock Tumbler Learning Guide. What do we got? Well, we have some aventurine. That's what these are. I think this one is hematite. This little one here, I thought I had a bigger one of those. Yeah, this here, but it's got it's got some uh, sand and stuff attached to it. This is sodalite. We have just the one tiger's eye right here. Mm -hmm. The red jasper. All these red ones are red jasper. The spotted ones are Dalmatian jasper. Uh, looks like. So these are rose quartz. A lot of these. I, I, it says uh, I'm supposed to have an agate in here. I don't. Maybe that's what this is right here. An agate. It appears that that's probably it. So one agate, one hematite. A lot of the rose quartz. I think that's the tiger's eye too. Just a darker, darker version. So there you go. There's our first week's worth of work. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean the tumbler up really well again and uh, get ready to uh, put this on week two. So, yeah, do this here. All right, so, make sure all the... I'm gonna dry out the tumbler really good and make sure we get the whatever grits left on the, the rim is especially what's important here. Okay, so we get the rim good and good and clean. All right, tumbler's ready. Okay. So let's put the stones in. And we'll follow the same procedure we did last time, stones. The next bag of grit, I'll show you what that grit looks like before I put it in. I'm gonna try to be a little gentle with these so I don't mess them up putting them in. So we'll look at the next bag of grit and according to the guide, the next batch will go for seven days on speed two. Now this all ran at speed three. So this will run at medium speed two for seven days. Then we will do this again. Okay, okay there's the stones. Bag of medium grit. Oh yeah. All right, so this is what the medium grit looks like. It's more of a, uh, almost looks like uh, just uh, some sandpaper granules that have been knocked off. The other ones were way thicker. These are very fine, still shiny with some metallic properties. So, okay. All right, and a little bit of fresh water just to cover the rocks. All right, and now we'll seal it. Here's the inner seal. Okay, good and tight. And the outer seal. Should be good and sealed. Okay, so we're gonna go put this back on the tumbler and uh, put it on medium speed for seven days. And we'll see you back here 
in seven days. Thanks for coming. See you around.